Hey everybody, I'm Ivan. And I'm Stephanie. And for this video, we are going to play an interesting version of Never Have I Ever. So I asked my sister Hannah if she would go online and find questions that were family friendly, that was the key, that we could play because we did not want to see the questions until she sent them to us. Um, so it could kind of be fresh for both of us. Um, we were going to start off with 10 cookies a piece. And we love the uh, golden Oreos because I hate regular Oreos. <laughs> and we're going to read as many questions as we can. And the goal is, is to have one cookie left at the end. So the rules are, uh, someone will read the question. And if one person has done that thing, then they have to eat a cookie. And whoever has one cookie left at the end, they are declared the winners. And a disclaimer, this is not alcohol. So yeah, we were going to get to this <laughs> part. We we love Welch's Sparkling Rosé, and it is non-alcoholic. We are an alcohol-free family. So she's going to pour us up some Sparkling Rosé, non-alcoholic, while I divvy up the 10 cookies. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes because this is not part of our new healthy lifestyle <laughs> at all. Nope. It is just, no, it's not, we don't do this. <laughs> we haven't done this in a really long time. So we'll probably get really sick from these cookies. We do the rosé from time to time, but we haven't had these cookies in a while because we yeah. don't eat bread. So this will be interesting. So we'll just switch off questions. And like I said, we have not seen these questions. We're reading them for the first time right now. So I'll start off and then Stephanie and we'll just go back and forth. Okay. So the first question is, never have I ever written and mailed Santa a letter? Never. I never did either. Number two. Never have I ever played video games for more than four hours in a day. I thought it said four hours straight, but yeah. But what was yours? Well, video games, my games on my phone. Okay, that does, we'll count that. For me, um, Sims on the computer. Mm -hmm. Nancy Drew, computer game. Never have I ever tried to convince a sibling that something I did was actually something that they did. They'll probably try doing that on you. <laughs> yeah. So for me, when we lived in Germany, we had this wallpaper that had these wood chips in it. And I had this bad habit of flicking off the wood chips. Well, my whole wall by my bed was just torn off. Well, it was this big chunk that I had taken off and my parents saw it, but they didn't see me do it. And so I'm like, Hannah did it. And <laughs> Hannah just looked up at them and they're like, Hannah, did you do it? And I looked at Hannah and I'm like, yes, Hannah did it. And she's like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> that was only one instance. That's just one that sticks out to me, but she was maybe only four and I was nine. So I think I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Never have I ever stuck my finger in a birthday cake. Oh my word, this is not going to be fun for me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. I, I don't remember. I'm going to hate these cookies <laughs> by the time we're done. And you just eat half of one? <laughs> no, that's the name of the game. Okay. Uh... Number five. Never have I ever had an imaginary friend. I never did. So I'm going to have some <laughs> sparkling rosé. Oh. Did your friend have a name? No, I just made up people. And Well, I guess since you were the youngest, you really didn't. I had a younger sister to play with. Number six. You can read with your mouth full. <laughs> 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 
or not. Never have I ever stayed awake all night after watching something scary. So, this one's twofold. I was like nine or ten. And I was raised where you didn't go to the movies. So the first movie I ever went to go saw, see, was with two of my brothers and one of their friends. And it was when the first Mummy movie came out. That night, I was sleeping in the living room because we were staying in this small house near our church. I was in the living room and I just couldn't go to sleep and I was freaking out and then I started crying and screaming while my mom comes in and like mother instinct, <laughs> she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm scared. She's like, with like this look on her face, like, mm hmm, I wonder why you're scared. <laughs> she just flat out's like, did you watch something you weren't supposed to? <laughs> yep, and I told her I did. So it kept me awake that I had gone against my parents' rules of going to the movies. Then also that the mummy really freaked me out because I kept just thinking about the bugs crawling under my skin. That was a long night. I still remember that night very, very specifically. I don't have a specific movie that kept me awake, but um, one instance was we were watching, I think it was a an old Miss Marple movie, and they found the dead body and there's maggots all over the face. <laughs> um, never have I ever had an argument with myself and lost. Never have I ever thought of escape plans from an alien, ninja, or zombie invasion. Nope. Not even after watching The Walking Dead or anything like that. I don't think so. No. Oh well, that was boring. <laughs> Never have, oh, this is stupid. Never have I ever eaten cold pizza. I love cold pizza. But not like plain pepperoni. For some reason, like, I like a supreme pizza cold. Or breakfast pizza cold. Or it's gotta be like, it's more just than just pepperoni. pizza cold. Pizza for breakfast? Come on. Why bother? No, it can't be like the super hard stuff that's been in the fridge no. for like five days. It's gotta be like the next day fridge. <laughs> Never have I ever sang along with Blue's Clues. Nope, because we never watched it. I couldn't even tell you the theme song. We're both eating a cookie with this one. <laughs> never have I ever watched a Star Wars marathon. And we'll be doing a Star Wars marathon in December when the new one comes out. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this next one. Oh, it's me? Oh. Yeah, number 12. <laughs> Never have I ever eaten a large pizza by myself. Define no, large. It's usually because what, 16, 18 inches, something like that. I could like eat that. a whole, like, big Walmart pizza by Those myself. Those are usually, like, 14 inches, so I think a large is 16 or 18 inches. Yeah, no. But is it all in one sitting, or did you, like have it and then had it for breakfast the next day, you know, have that cold slice of pizza. Because if that's the case, <laughs> never have I ever jumped into a trash can or dumpster. Wait a minute. I do have to eat one for that because I've done it at work. No. Hashtag restaurant life. My siblings actually made me climb into a dumpster to get some toys out that the neighbor <laughs> had thrown away. Oh. I've gotten toys from the from the trash before, but not actually have to go, go into the dumpster to get them. When we lived in Colorado behind our church, we had a big dumpster and somebody had thrown away like a big Barbie box. So they made me get into it because it was the smallest one. And there was like three pairs of Barbie shoes in it. And you never throw away Barbie shoes because you always lose them. 
So hey, that was the score. I've gotten a Barbie house for Hannah from the trash before. What did, how do they say it? And one man's trash is another man's treasure. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Barbie house was definitely trash. <laughs> but anyway. Mm. So you do a progress report on who's losing? <laughs> I've got two cookies left. And I have four. Like I said, I'm going to lose this one. I'm no, 14. Never have I ever eaten a whole box of Little Debbie Snacks cakes by myself. No, because I hate Little Debbie cakes. I haven't either. I don't think I'm going to be eating a cookie on this next one. Never have I ever eaten the insides of Oreos and put them back in the container. So you take the Who cookie part. Who does that? <laughs> Apparently so. Who people does do. that? <laughs> No. She loves Oreos, so she would completely eat the entire Oreo. Yeah, I mean, yes, you can take them apart and eat the inside and then eat the cookie. I've done that before, but never put it back in the container. Yeah, I've eaten the insides of the Oreo because I like that part and this. Give him the outside smell. I'm. I might actually have to eat to the Oreo one because I've eaten the insides before and I've put them back into the container just sitting there and like eating three or four of them. So I've actually done that. This is why we don't get Oreos. <laughs> Number 16. Never have I ever tried to... St Strategically. <laughs> this is where I lose the game. <laughs> Let me finish my cookie before you read it. You'll understand here in a minute why we're laughing. <laughs> oh, you sure can get <laughs> Read it. Okay, we gotta get through this. Okay. This is gonna be the last question because I've got one cookie left and uh, I'm gonna be eating it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever tried to strategically time farts with loud noises. <laughs> oh, she can see one too. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not even gonna try to give an example. But if if you go to public schools, if you <laughs> Bible college is special. Or church. Or church. <laughs> Slam a book when you're done singing so you can pass gas. <laughs> uh, or <laughs> try standing up in the choir loft in front of a congregation of like 700 people. And then the people that are live streaming the services, <laughs> you're trying not to pass gas. <laughs> oh boy, and so you try to like sit down in a squeaky chair and try <laughs> let it go. Oh. How many cookies do you have left, honey? <laughs> Three. Oh, not, and I'm eating my last one. Uh, uh, so, that's um, Never Have I Ever, a kid's edition. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. <laughs> Um, we got these questions off of a website called wehavekids.com and they've got several different game ideas on how to play this. One idea was doing it with either candy or cookies and so that's what we did. So take some time to uh, have fun with your family, have fun with your kids. Our kids are too little to do something like this so we decided to do it. So if you like this video, leave us a comment down below. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. So we hope you enjoy this and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.